What's up guys, Coconut Freaks here back with another video. In this video, this weekend we are down in Southern Illinois and we have gotten word that an individual down here has a bunch of vintage clothing and he's selling it in wholesale. So me and Eddie, you might've seen him on camera, he just walked behind me. Me and Eddie are here, we just got here. We're about to start this digging expedition. Apparently there's like 10 buildings like trailers and storage containers full of stuff so <clears throat> we're spending the weekend here got to stay in this nice cabin for the weekend with the lake over there i'll show you guys in a second but yeah we just got here we're gonna get unpacked and uh start this digging process it's gonna be all weekend so hopefully we come out of here with some good stuff starting off we got this beautiful lake with a zip line and a dock and some canoes. Alright, so nice kitchen dining room space. Uh, let's go upstairs real quick. Awesome loft area. Plenty of beds. Another bedroom over here and laundry. And the basement is full of a bunch of old arcade games. Got an old wood stove, some foosball, and a pool table. So this is gonna be a great weekend. It hasn't even started yet. We just got here, so. I'm gonna go ahead and put this camera up and we're gonna start going with this weekend. So I'll get back to you guys. All right guys, got the respirator on. It is very dusty in this trailer we're in. Let me show you here. So we are working our way up in this trailer and got a decent little pile going. So. We're only about a quarter of the way through, so. A quarter, we're a, we're a tenth of the way through. A tenth of the way through, so. The owner's gonna come get a tractor and pull this out for us so we can throw it on the blacktop, but. We'll be back, we'll be back. All right, little update. We finished all six of these boxes and um, came out with a decent little pile here. We're gonna sort through everything right now and figure out what we want and don't want, and then we'll put the rest back in there. I will get back to you guys here shortly whenever we get this all situated and we're gonna go on to the next building so stay tuned <clears throat> got a decent little pile going oh I didn't know it came with little chicken nuggets it's chicken fried rice boy when I get chicken fried rice in St. Louis, it don't look like that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good Saturday morning, guys. Uh, me and Eddie just woke up. We're about to go into town and get some breakfast, and then we're going to start day two of picking. Actually, as of now, I think I picked out too much <laughs> because we've only done like four buildings and they're still... God knows how many more. So we're just gonna have to get a pile to end up today. And then tomorrow they're gonna sort through it and give us a price. So <clears throat> we're gonna go run into town, get some breakfast and I'll catch you guys when we get there, either there or when we get back here to start some more digging. So stay tuned guys. All right guys, me and Eddie are, oh, won't turn that way, but Eddie's over here. We just uh, finished breakfast. I am so full and we're gonna head back to the cabin get ready get some waters get some little snackies and we're gonna start picking for today so be back in just a second all right just got done in there now we're heading in here oh my god just for a good start <laughs> Pretty good start. Let's get started in here. Oh my God.
going through the piles. Got a pile here. Got a pile up the road there. Got a pile in this place here. So the camera's going crazy. Eddie's got his pile over here. Not even all my pile. I got another pile over there. Yep. We got to get getting organized here. Shit. Run on daylight. Facts. All right, guys, what's up? Another update. I apologize. I have not been very active on the filming. We've been picking all day. We got some dinner. We're exhausted. I'm wheezing. My asthma's flared up. But we are back at the cabin, and um, we're just down in the basement here. And uh, we're about to play some old-fashioned 60s, 70s pinball machines. Good morning guys day three at the property this is our last day here we uh, woke up really early this morning and we were going through our piles kind of picking what we need and what we really don't need so that's what we're doing right now Eddie over there all bundled up it's pretty cold that's his keep pile in the center and that's his throwback pile there's my keep pile it gets up to like 70 today but right now it's freaking like 32 and windy it's really cold and annoying but and it's raining so great Sweet. <laughs> all right guys what's up we're done picking for the day got all our piles organized went to walmart and now we are on a hiking we're about to do a 10.5 mile hike never been on this hike before so i'm pretty excited What's up guys? We're back. Freaking winded. We just climbed up this freaking mountain and um so let me move this little joystick here. We are here with some nice little lunch. Let me turn you guys around here. Got a nice little popcorners, spicy queso, and nice little turkey and cheddar. And Good old Coke Zero. We just hit four miles and we still have six more to go, six and a half to go. So uh, we're gonna eat lunch here and hopefully we get a little more energized because I am out of shape. Well guys, it's pretty crazy stuff. I am so worn out that we had to cut the trail in half and take a shortcut back to our car. I don't know if I'm coming down with something or if I'm just I'm dehydrated or if it's because I haven't gone on a decently sized hike in months, but I am pooped right now. So, and we still got a two hour drive home. So we decided to cut this trail in half and instead of 10.5, we're doing six and a half, which is still a pretty decent hike. Good morning guys. It is the next day. Last night, me and Eddie got home so late that pretty much I helped him load his car with all the stuff that he bought. I closed my garage and went to bed. Took a shower and then went to bed. So like I said, today's the next day. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go out here and unload my car and I'm gonna lay everything out on my garage floor. And I'm gonna show you guys everything I got and the total I spent. And I might include how much I should make off of all this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and lay a quilt down and get everything in here and I will show you guys what I got in just a second. So it's been about 
maybe 30 minutes. It's a very, very hot allergy day in Missouri. It's supposed to be 75 today in the middle of February. Spent about 30 minutes pulling out some of the greatest stuff from this haul. Um, if you guys have made it to this point, you guys are gonna want to stay tuned to see this. If you made it to this point and you're clicking out, I'm not even really quite sure why you even watched this video this far, but I'm gonna start at the best stuff and then we're gonna go to some of the decent stuff. I didn't have enough room in my garage to lay it all out, so. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and start down here. Starting off with these old Honda denim pants. We've got this old Talon zippers on them. Really neat. Got a Vietnam era slant pocket. 13 star HBT. Two pairs of OG 107s. Three pairs, one are wool of some like 1951 M. M51 whatever cargo pants. Some sanferized Washington DC denim. Some 517s. Two dead stock pairs of uh, Montgomery Ward uh, carpenter pants. Let's see, got some more 517s up there. Some 70s Lee, they're still a little fuzzy still, like probably never worn. Got a nice King Louie here. Um, Nice Towncraft shadow plaid. Darker label Pendleton loop collar. Nice Sears flannel. Really nice. Um, here, let's see if I can get this to zoom in. Super nice Kmart Hawaiian. Another Towncraft um, shadow plaid. Some more 50s denim. Another pair of 50s denim right there. Big Yank, dead stock, loop collar, another Pendleton, dark label, loop collar. Nice, super nice Levi's, like silky disco shirt, Western. Another loop collar there. Um, this one's really interesting. It had no tag, but I found a Union label on the bottom of it. So it's probably 50s or 60s. Nice little flannel there. Another loop collar right here. Two of these H bar C Western shirts. Super nice right there. Uh, nice little Big Mac pen press shirt. Two more loop collars here. Really nice Brent sweater. This really interesting wrestling shirt on our old Russell raised collar tee. Um, got a really cool women's OG 107 field jacket along with this other one here. Really nice one. Little Kmart denim shirt. Ziegler. Little t-shirt there. Another H HBT shirt. These aren't 13 star buttons though. Two, one's World War II, one's not. One has the corduroy pockets. Two like navy pea coats. I'm gonna clear a path and I'm gonna get up there now. Oh, got this super nice dead stock Big Mac chore. Never been worn. Probably one of my best finds this weekend. <clears throat> kind of paid up for it, but it's a super cool Rail Chief sanferized chore jacket. Um, sorry, there's a truck that's kind of loud. What's really cool about this one is it, it appears it's, it was a, a farmer that worked for FS Seed. Um, really nice big FS patch on the back. Again, I am so sorry. I'm so stuffed up. This stuff's dusty. I don't know. Really, really nice Woolrich flannel. Big Mac. Nice L.L. Bean chore. It's military wool. 70s big c carhartt chore uh nice like mole i think it's i believe it's moleskin some kind of german military vest sleeves are cut off but they look like really nicely redone really neat i believe this is 40s this uh bell nap sports clothes hunting jacket type 3 levi's woolrich Nice hunting jacket. Another 70s uh, Carhartt chore. Never seen one with this tag before. It's like an embroidered tag. Another really good find this weekend was this uh, CPO. Super nice CPO, like wool. Super thick, like nice thick, cool flowers on it. Really nice flannel. All right guys, we're gonna make this quick because I'm Pretty sure this video is getting pretty long at this point. Um, so let's start off. This is the uh, remaining 
items of the haul. So here we go. Starting off, we got some nice Lee slacks, some Levi slacks, some more Levi slacks, and some more Levi corduroys. Some nice uh, newer dark wash 517s appear to never be worn, maybe a few times. Some dead stock uh, Rough Rider woman's western jeans. Uh, M1943 hood. Found that laying in a trailer. Figured I could make some money on it. Um, some super cool Lee disco western pants that have a union made tag on inside by the zipper pretty cool uh real nice dolphins pro player penn state sweatshirt nice aztec woolridge uh vest classic local radio station here in st louis kc95 uh, raglan shirt old marlboro shirt nice little black blank sweatshirt and t-shirt uh real really nice uh old hawaiian shirt um, some nice 80s Missouri State or Mizzou reverse weave sweatpants Orvis shirt these two are Carhartt and there was a bunch more there but I didn't grab them because you post them on eBay and within a month you have one view and zero watchers so I just these two are really nice I don't even bother with them they get z literally zero views on eBay so pretty much wipe those off of my look for list nice uh, Ralph Lauren plaid flannel Big Mac um, all these are all Wrangler pearl snaps I the guy said he had a bunch of brush poppers but I couldn't find any he this one was marked as one but I, I it's new I'm not really sure it's really starched uh, these are all like some chamois shirts go all the way down step over here we got a bunch of um, Wrangler denim shirts, some nice field shirts. Um, let me step back over here. This stuff's already been looked through. Got a really nice like tiger stripe ideal camo sh shirt jacket thing. <laughs> Trophy club, nice uh, real tree camo, some nice uh, duck camo. This one was amazing. I found this super nice browning wax jacket with the Budweiser little hit right there the owner said that they got a bunch of these that made them for Budweiser workers and there's three of them there Eddie got Eddie got one I got one and there was one that was too destroyed to take so I left it there super awesome Mack trucks hat kind of squished if you couldn't tell nice FS seed hat Napa camo hat Cleveland Indians I don't I'm not sure if that's shockwave or shatter with starter um, Cape products Ford trucks Nice Kodiak, the only bear you'll ever pinch. DuPont, herbicide patch hat. Atlanta Falcons, some Olympics, Olympics 1984. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and a nice uh, hybrid, just random seed hat. And a good old cat diesel power patch hat over here. Got some tree bark camo. This is some old Sears camo here. Real nice Columbia Omnitech duck camo. Nice Winchester Realtree. Um, black Sheep. Really nice Down Eddie Bauer jacket. Really nice Sherpa Lion Carhartt jacket with the logo on it. Kind of sucks, but oh well. And then a really nice um, Walls, Walls uh, duck camo jacket. And that is everything, guys. That is everything. Quite a bit. A little overwhelming. We spent Friday, Saturday, and Sunday guess you can consider today is Monday still working on all this stuff I've got to bring it inside and organize it I got to list it all total damage after the three days was $2,500 now I know that sounds may sound like a lot um, but after looking all this over this morning I am almost 100% certain that I can 100% double my money but I'm almost thinking I can even triple if not quadruple my money once I get everything cleaned and nice layouts, you know, listed, take my time with the pictures, I, I really think I could quadruple to triple my money, which I'm super, super excited about. If you guys couldn't tell, um, I I don't wanna call it curation, but I'm really, really, really into the hunting, outdoor, military, just workwear kind of stuff, if you could tell. Uh, I have 
no Jinkos in here, no sports t-shirts, you know, everyone has their own little thing. This is what I'm really into. It just so happens to sell really well too. And I'm gonna be honest, some of this stuff I'm keeping for sure. A lot of this I'm keeping. Anything that fits me that I like, I'm gonna keep, but most, I'd say probably about 90% of the stuff I'm gonna be selling. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this adventure. Um, I'm, I'm pretty mind blown actually. I'm blitzed and I still can't believe it for real. Um, but yeah, that's everything guys. Uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I just might do another one of these picking thrift videos. Um, but yeah guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. And as I'm saying that, I just remembered that this also came with the haul. Uh, super, super, super nice handmade quilt. All right, guys, see you guys.